So I just got chased by these three here. These are their usual ones that chase me. So guys, welcome back to the channel once again. Touching down from the world famous Chiang Mai city in Thailand. Hope you're all doing okay. Today's vlog is about the street dogs or stray dogs or soy dogs in Thailand, whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm going to call them street dogs because, well, yeah, they're dogs on the streets, isn't it? So I get quite a few messages now and someone messaged me asking about the dogs and is the dogs going to cause them a problem in Chiang Mai? And I just thought it was a it was a great subject for a video, really. So we're going to talk about the info first. Then later on in the vlog, I'm going to talk about my opinion on what the dogs are like in Chiang Mai. I'm specifically going to talk about Chiang Mai. Um, I don't know what the dogs are like in other parts of Thailand. By by the looks of it, Bangkok's even worse. But yeah, I'm talking about Chiang Mai because this is where I live and. That's what I know about. It's reported that there are 70,000 street dogs living in Chiang Mai province. A lot of these dogs live in the temple grounds. That's why when you come to a temple in Chiang Mai, you will always see a lot of dogs normally. These dogs are looked after some of them. Um, they may look like that. They're just left alone and they're just wandering around the temples. But a lot of people do look after the dogs as well. There is donation boxes as well in most temples where you can donate to help the dogs. When I came here many years ago, um, there, was, there was a lot more dogs on the streets than what I see now. Don't get me wrong, there's, there's still a lot of dogs. The ones that are not in the temple grounds roam the streets. Like I said, some of them get, get taken care of. Some people feed them. I mean, Dam, the dog that lives near our apartment, Nobody really owns that dog, but lots of people in our apartments feed him and take care of him. Some of the dogs do have a history of attacking people. Yeah, I wouldn't say all the dogs are carrying diseases. They're quite well looked after. Overcrowding of the dogs in the streets does often cause aggressive behavior. Most of this behavior is territorial. If you go off the beaten track down, down some little streets or down some little alleys, that's when you could run into some dogs that are very territorial where they don't see people coming down too much and especially if it's someone they don't know and you know a, a new person walking down the streets. The night time is when they're most territorial I think. Um, if you're coming home late at night what I always say is the dogs run the streets at night um, they run in packs they run in gangs and when there's not so many people around they seem to be more confident and if they just see one or two people on their own that's when they can get a bit aggressive and circle you there's one roaming around the temple grounds he looks a very healthy dog and he's probably looked after or she very well just because a dog's in a temple or on the streets, it doesn't automatically mean he's not getting looked after. I think there has been a dog meat trade here in the past where people go around picking up the street dogs and it seems like that was a thing in the past. Um, they were scooped off the streets. Um, they would feed them up and then sell them at markets in different countries. Yeah, it's sad, right? Very sad. I'm not sure if that goes on today, but it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, so my advice would be, don't worry about the dogs coming to Chiang Mai. Don't worry about the dogs. 99% of them are fine. You, they, you're just gonna ride past them every day and walk past them. They'll just be lying in the shade and lying in the sun. The, on, the only time you gotta worry a little bit is late at night. Just maybe take a different route if, if you know there's dogs down a certain way or something, very rarely they they might chase you a little bit nothing will really come of it they'll give up after a while obviously you can get bit here street dogs and neglected dogs are never really happy dogs are they the dog question was something i thought that would make a great vlog i love the messages i get from you guys as well i will try and help you any way i can and you want to know everything i was the same i was the same um, i will i will help as much as i can Got this guy over here lit, lying down in the temple. 
normally this is all this is all what they're doing just lying down resting yeah my videos probably come across like Chiang Mai is crazy with dogs when when really it's not it's not you, you don't have to worry too much just be a little bit careful if you're if you're walking or you're riding a bicycle like me because they seem to chase the bicycle a bit more I think when they see you pedaling on a motorbike with a loud engine they they don't seem to be so bad I don't worry too much I know it comes across like that maybe in the vlogs there is a couple mad ones that do chase me the one in the little temple that I've done vlogs on but he I mean if you stand your ground to him it, he'll never come up to me and bite me or anything like that well I don't think he would <laughs> the dogs are not on my mind when I go anywhere in Chiang Mai I mean I never think about the dogs like now walking around there's no one about and there's dogs in this temple everywhere they're, they're lying down somewhere I mean if I'm coming home late at night sometimes I will take a different route to avoid a certain dog or some dogs they, most of them won't won't hurt you and they'll just bark maybe I mean two or three in the morning I find the worst 2 a.m. or 1 a.m. that's when the dogs are out in force same on a bike if one chases me on my bike he will give up after a little while he won't he won't waste no energy on chasing me don't show any fear that's what everybody always says and, and that's true I think that is so true dogs do see fear in you I mean that's what they see in me that's what they see in me I know it because I, I got bit as a kid um when I go through dogs here um you know I'll, I'll jump quickly or something if I see a dog when I'm on my bike and that that really scares them right and that's when they'll start barking at me I mean someone else can go past these dogs in the temple the crazy one that chases me and he won't do nothing that's because they're just they're just riding past him like like he's nothing and then yeah that doesn't spook him I mean when I go past I'm a little bit jittery it's normally a bunch in here I wanted to show you really nice ones they normally they lie down under the benches here and have a nap so I just got chased by these three here these are the usual ones that chase me I'm not going to aggravate them too much this one here that, that's barking he's the one that always ch chases me the most <laughs> Yeah, so the territorial in here, very territorial. Um, they don't like anyone coming in here, really. I mean, they've known me now for nearly two years as well, and they still bark seeing me come through here nearly every day. I mean, they, they would just keep barking, and they'd come for me before I put the camera on. I had to ride all the way back out there. So yeah, I'm not going to aggravate them too much. Yep, so I'm going to head back now guys and grab a coffee, chill out for a bit. Then I'm heading to Airport Plaza to do a little bit of shopping. And yeah, I will see you all in the next vlog. So take it easy, man. Take it easy.